Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Anne. Courtney. Since Tuesday, the British public have been voting for their winner. I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and the winner of Celebrity Big Brother is... But I don't like a statue <laughs> from there. Cheerio. ho Goodbye. Bye. So that means that Courtney has stormed to victory with a massive 49% of the vote. Are you ready to meet your winner? For the last time this series, it is time to talk to the house. Congratulations! You are the winner of Celebrity Big Brother. Courtney, your public awaits. Come on out! I'm coming! Goodbye, house! It's been crazy, fun, and unforgettable. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Courtney! Actually, <laughs> you like that. Mm. Always ladylike, got a little cushion. Well, after covering your after the way in, you know. <laughs> I didn't want to have any mishaps. Um, congratulations! You are the winner of Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. How are you feeling? I don't know what this means. Is this real life? This yes. is just amazing. Thank you. Hello, this is everybody. This real life. We are live on air. Welcome back to other people. Oh, I know. There's all of these faces. I've just been seeing the same 15 lovely faces for the last month, and some of them are there, some of them yeah. are there. Hi, everyone. Hiya. Um, how does it feel? Um, how does it feel, and, and what does it mean to you to win Year of the Woman? Well, I mean, slightly ironic. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would have to say thank you to the, the eight glorious women who are in the house. Um, India, 
and Maggie and Amanda and Rachel and Ashley and Malika and Jess and Ms. Ann Whittacombe. Um, and to all of my other housemates, it's... It's one of those things you sort of realise as people start going that those people really are what, you know, makes it possible. And those experiences that we had over the last month, it's just, this, this is so surreal right now. Uh, it, it must be. Yes. Um, why, why then do you think the public have chosen you? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing to think that the public have chosen me. I guess it's validation. The things that I came in here uh, believing in, um, the the... the I mean, my inspiration coming into the house was that, you know, teenage boy who didn't quite mm -hmm. know where he belonged or how he fit in and feeling inspired by the Spice Girls um, and just and just not knowing what that meant, but knowing that if it was OK for them to be different, then it was OK for me to be different, too. Yeah. And I guess coming to the house, this is validation that it's OK to be different. And Absolutely. We're a unicorn and side pony. And I know you said, um, you said in the, we saw you say in the diary room the other night that it's a year of the woman and a woman should win this yeah. year. But if it's not a woman that's winning <laughs> and it's a guy winning, then you are exactly the right person Thank you. to be winning this series. <gasps> Seriously. I mean, Thank you. Not only have you been an incredible housemate to watch, you've been very funny, you're so articulate and you're really easy to learn from. Do you know what I mean? Like, all this stuff with India, like you communicated things to everybody. And the boys, when they're asking all those questions in the bathroom, it was just GCC. fantastic to watch. Thank you. Did you realise wow. that, that, do you realise that you're educating? Um, I mean, I, I guess so, yeah. I, I, I was just having conversations with people about things that I'm passionate about. Um, and, and if people have been educated by that, you forget about the people watching at home as much as you're aware that you're in this sort of, fantastical environment you you forget that there's people watching and and making their own opinions on the conversations that you're having so mm. I, I guess they liked the conversations and they, they did they did like the conversations and they also liked the uh the bromances Aww. <laughs> uh, right from the very start you had eyes for one boy i did do you want to have a do you want to have a look at the two of you together oh we got a super cut yes roll the tape <laughs> In this relationship, I would be the top. I accept that. I obviously think Andrew is handsome and a, and a lovely person. It got an eyelash. <laughs> I think I ate it. There a we're... little piece of me and you. Know? Oh, Courtney's fit, you know. Me and you are Batman Robin. You're definitely Batman. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, if Courtney didn't have a dick, I'd go to town on that. <laughs> <laughs> and you are my worthy winner, OK? again this week yes. and uh, the look on your face kind of spoke a thousand words now we know you've got a crush on him but yeah how much of a crush on him have you got as much as he wants <laughs> <laughs> sounds good to me no. but you have you've said in the diary room we, we, and, and it's been played out we've seen it that um, you used to be attracted to straight unattainable men <laughs> um so so have you gone back to your 20s and has it happened again well i'll like... tell you tomorrow morning <laughs> no i'm kidding no you know the thing that i love about the thing that I love about Andrew is that he's just so comfortable with everybody and, yeah. and everything. And I, you know, I said I, if, if more straight guys were like him, the world would be an even better place because there's just something about somebody being just fine with it, like not caring what people in the house, people at home are thinking, yeah. just knowing who he is and feeling confident sharing that in an unconventional way. And I, I love that. I respect that about yeah. him. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure he fancied you quite a bit. When you're Courtney, right? I mean, he's he made, only human. Emma. He made, <laughs> he made, he made a few comments, um, and uh, especially when he'd had a few drinks. So, so, <laughs> so when he'd had a few drinks and um, Courtney was on the scene, did you kind of push it a little bit more? You know what? I do respect his his boundaries and things, and I, I as much as you know, it's fun to flirt and fun to. I mean, it is fun to flirt, don't get me wrong. Once yeah. the boys left, I was like, what's the point in doing drag? <laughs> um, but um, no, I, the, the thing that I really do respect is that they, we did have that like understanding. And I think that perhaps only the two of us knew what our relationship yeah. actually was, because I think everybody else was like, what does yeah. that mean? Are they? Aren't they? Are they? 
and we really knew what it was. And, and we saw that. We saw the conversations where you were both kind of like, look, we're, we're on the same page. We yeah. know what this is. But yeah. sometimes the, you, you can't help but get carried away in your own head, right? Yeah, I mean, but, no, but that's human. what my 20s were all about. So, so not, not anymore. Not, not anymore. anymore. Now I'm a you know, mature woman of a certain age and, and I, I, I completely just revel in the friendship more than anything. Because that's, yeah. that's, to me, honestly, that's more important. And you were one of the lads. Not were, usually you know, one of the lads. I know, but it was lovely. That whole friendship was great. I've got to ask you, Amanda picked up on you being a perfectionist mm -hmm. and your dress falling down on the way in, oh. was it planned? Of course it wasn't planned. I'm not going to flash my gash to the whole nation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, do you? You never know. Do you want to see your best bits? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Hi, I'm Shane Jennings. I love getting to be a boy and I love getting to be a girl. Celebrate masculinity and femininity and everything in between. Shane J is really, really cool fella. They go up there automatically. It doesn't mean you put them back there though. That's a beautiful girl. It's a rich tapestry. He can just talk to anyone and make you understand anything. This is called the gay hanky code. Lavender meant drag queen. Shane's a delightful young man. Shane's a man that you'd want to be your grandson. I think Courtney's a tart. She's so glamorous and beautiful. Oh, yeah! No, if Courtney didn't have a dick, I'd get to tell them that. They are in love. You look at us, an unconventional relationship. Kim and I have a very special friendship. There you go. Thank you, Anne. Anne's the one who was rolling her eyes like a slot machine. I have to agree to disagree once again on this one. I'm Jerry. He's full of life and beings. Very clever. Right down fruit. I've got it under control. And as Courtney, he's even prettier than he is as a man. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of Celebrity Big Brother Year of the Woman, it's Courtney!